adjusting dimension text. So let's go up to the annotate tab and let's choose the dim linear command. And I'm going to come down and hit enter to select an object and I'm going to select this object right here. I'm going to drag it out. Now before I place it I might want to uh, to uh, adjust the dimension text. To do that, I'm going to come down and click on either M text or text. I'll click on text, M text, and you can see right in the middle of my screen here, I have my M text value, uh, and it's it'll place it right where you click. So, in front of that value, that is the measured value. Uh, in AutoCAD. I'm going to pull this box out a little wider so we can see a little better. And In front of that I'm going to type a word like MAX or an abbreviation. I'll put a couple spaces and then I'm going to close the text editor. Now you can see I edited the dimension text and I placed it and I got maximum of 1.500. Uh, I'm going to do that one more way here. I'm going to go up to dim linear I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to select on that same object. I'm going to pull it out. This time I'm going to select on text. I'll pick on text and it says enter the dimension text. You'll see that it has a left less than sign and then the text or the measured value in a greater than sign. Uh, so I can come in here and type in anything I want. I'll say max again for example. I want to click in here and say max. Point. and then if I want that measured value I put the less than and the greater than sign together and I hit enter and now it will do the same thing okay and so I can I can do whatever I want now it's possible in this case to put a different measured value in there which I do not recommend. For example, I can come down here in text and say, you know what, it's three inches. And I can hit enter, and now I have three inches. The problem with that is, this is called bad cat. This isn't drawn the three inches. So I don't re necessarily recommend that. What I do recommend is that if you need to put some sort of thing in here, like typical or minimal or maximum, uh, things of that nature, you can put some text in there uh, just by typing in down on either the M text or the text and if I choose the text I can just say it's a typical TYP hit, and then I have to put in the less than and greater than sign and hit enter and then I can place that in alright if it is the M text I don't really necessarily have to do that um, I can come in and pick I go to the M text. You can see in this case that value is actually the measured value inside the less than sign and the greater than sign. All I got to do is click outside of there and then I can type in the word. But what will happen a lot of times is you'll erase it. All you have to do is put the less than and greater than sign and it'll come back. The measured value will come back. I close the text editor and then I can place it back in. So this is adjusting the dimension text.